Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. I am Kaylee and I'm back with another cow pack review. Okay, before we get too far into this, I do wanna say number one, I do make other content. So if you feel so inclined, please go check that out. Um, and number two, there is a discount code for I think $25 off of an order of 150 or more um, in the description box. So if you're interested in any of these bags, definitely go check that out. Sometimes it's a little finicky. You have to like type it in. You have to do a different browser. Sometimes you have to do private. Sometimes you click on it and it works. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but it is there for you if you would like to use that. All right, so today we are going to be talking about something exciting, and it is the Calpac cosmetic cases. So I have two here. Gosh, if I can get a hold of it. Um, I have the small and the medium. Um, so I thought what I would kind of do is just start out and you know talk over the differences, whatever, um, and then show you kind of a size comparison and then um, what each bag can fit. So the first thing I wanna point out, these did come wrapped in plastic. Um, I did open this one because I wanted to see it. Um, and then as you can see, it has a nice dust cover over it. One thing that I wanna point out, this does not bother me, but it is different than previous CalPAC packages I've gotten. Um, these came with just a packing slip. In the past, I've gotten the um, little like information book or whatever with some stickers. Like I said, it really doesn't bother me because I'm not a sticker person anyway. So um, I just wanted to point that out because that might be something people care about or are interested in, whatever. Um, so they come in this nice little dust bag and you open it up and then something else that's nice, it came with a cardboard um, on each side of the bag because the bag itself does have, um, plastic is not the right word, but it's see-through. <laughs> um, so this is the small bag. Um, something that I was interested in when I was looking through the, um, like website and then looking for other um, reviews of these cosmetic bags is I was interested in the size comparison between the three bags. So I don't have the large here, but um, I do have the small and the medium, like I said, and so I thought I'd show you what fits in each bag. I also wanted to compare these bags to my ride or die Amazon toiletry bag. Um, this thing has been through it. But it's big, and when I pack it full of my entire skincare routine, it gets huge. Um, the other thing that um, I don't love about this bag, I'm trying to find it. Um, something did spill, and because it's fabric, um, it wasn't easy to clean up, and I don't feel confident to put it in the washing machine. But um, I wanted to get something smaller, because when I go on like overnight or you know two night trips, I guess I really don't need to bring my whole skincare routine with me. Um, so I wanted something a little smaller uh, that I could just throw in my weekend bag, um, my tote, whatever, that wasn't gonna take up a ton of room. Okay, so this is the small cosmetic bag in stone. It is eight by six by four approximately, according to this label. Um, so it has a little handle on the top and then two zippers. So I'm gonna go ahead and unzip it. One thing I really like, this bag also has feet at the bottom, really like that. Um, but the other thing that I really like is that you open it up and it lays completely flat. So when you open it up, you have two sides. You have a nice little Calpac logo right here. Um, these, they're just pretty, pretty basic. They just unzip and you can put your items in the bag. 
So in talking about the size comparison, I tried to think of things that were like universal, that everyone would have that I could compare these two bags. And um, so I came up with, if maybe if you don't have it, I mean, I hope you have one of them, but if you don't have the second one, you'll know kind of what it is, the size, etc. So the first one is deodorant, and the second one is the Paula's Choice um, BHA. So this is four fluid ounces. We're going to see if it fits in the small cosmetic bag. So I'm going to, this side's already open, so I'm just gonna use it. Ooh. All right, it's tight, but it fits. Deodorant, no problem. Here's what it looks like on the other side. So not bad. That'll work. Now for the medium bag. Same dust cover, cardboard paper situation. So here is the bag. Um, these are both in the stone color. Like I said, this is the medium and it is approximately seven and a half by 9.75 by five. Um, so differences with this bag, it has two handles on the top still has the feet on the bottom and it's still going to open up flat. Um, the difference in this one is on this flap you have a little like mesh pouch. So that is the difference between a couple of the differences between the medium and the small. So let me unzip one of the sides and show you the size comparison of the BHA and the deodorant. So those fit in there super easily with room at the top. So you would have no problem packing most things in here. Now, if you're carrying like full size shampoo and conditioner, it's probably not gonna fit in here, but um, this is still a really good size bag. And if this is the medium, like honestly, how big is the large? So anyway, um, let's look at the size comparison between the small and the medium. So the medium is significantly bigger. Let me show you one more angle. Kinda, you can see over here, there's maybe, I don't know, an inch and an inch and a half. I don't know, I'm terrible with measurements um, on the top. So, and then of course the handles. So one more time, just to shout out my ride or die Amazon bag. Um, this is still gonna be the bag that I take with me on um, like longer trips because it does have several different pockets. And as I said, it does fit in my entire routine. So if I'm going on just a night, I'd probably take the small. If I'm going on a weekend, depending on my luggage situation, I'd probably take the medium, but this is gonna be my true, like everlasting love of toiletry bags. <laughs> but it's not about you right now, Amazon bag. Um, okay, so if you have any questions about the cosmetic cases, please let me know. And thanks for watching.